You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out this electronic game called Lightspeed from Perplexus. Master the 3D maze before time is up. And uh, this is a Spin Master product. Now, I've done some Perplexuses before, but never one like this. It's uh, for ages 7 plus, 1, and uh, as many as you want, players. It just says 1 plus. So you can probably pass it off at a party or something like that. Lights and sound. Now, I thought this was brand new in the package, but looking at it now, this is upside down, this is upside down, and there's some tape here holding the sound. So maybe somebody cut this, pulled it out, and then put it back upside down. But there are three games. It says, yeah, well, there they are. Three game modes. Level Up is game one. Gold, gold Rush is two. And Pass Along is three. That's probably the one where you can use multiple players. It's the twisting, turning, 360 degree maze race with music and lights. It looks pretty cool. It does require batteries, so maybe there was some in there originally. I don't know. Start here, which would be reversed. Oh, wait. So where is one? There's three. There is two. One is right here. So try me. That's upside down. Try me. Start here. And then it goes around the box, giving you the different little steps. All right. So what do we have to do? Well, let us just see. Let us see if this tape is holding, what this tape is holding on. You just never know when you find something like this. Second hand, I didn't notice. Okay, yes, so someone had actually retaped it. It's kind of like something I would do. And there's that. Let me see. Oh, and it's marked up here, so it has is issues. It looks like there's batteries in there. I hope they're not. Oh, oh, okay. I need to get the instructions out. Oh, it's, it wants to play. All right, here we go. So let's do this. Looks like the batteries are solid. They're still working. There's the bottom of the box. Let's see, what year was this from? Okay, I don't see a year. Important information. No. How about down here? Is there a year here? Spin Master, all rights reserved. Oh, I like the sounds. I don't see a year. Why do they do this? It's probably on there. I just missed it. Or it's always usually on the instructions. Okay. So there's the instruction sheet, the little card. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the information, but it's not there. That's one language. Let's move that out of the way. Here's the other language. Ooh, wait, what is that? Trademark, blank and blank, hard to read, impossible to see. All right. Three batteries. It looks like it's working, so... I don't know what to do, actually. Overview. Race to master the 3D challenges before your time is up. Includes three game modes that increase in difficulty for perfecting your skills and mastering the maze. Before you play, the game unit has a tab on the back by the battery door that will need to be removed before play. See battery installation diagram. Remove the Try Me sticker from the unit to access on mode game mode. So it actually somebody moved it. We'll just leave it. It doesn't seem like it's going to bother us. Press the on mode button to power the unit on. Press the on mode button to cycle through three games. Okay. Oh, wait. Looks like there's something. Other button somewhere. Hmm. Let's see. It's showing. Oh, something here? In the diagram? No. What is it showing me? Oh, that is called the game mode and color indicator. That's the center. There's like a little area there. The start space is to the left. The purple goal, the green goal, the yellow goal, and the blue goal. And there's also another start space over there. Hold the on mode button for two seconds, then press the on mode button to change the volume. not doing anything I want. Okay, why are you not doing anything I want? Holding the button. Okay. Okay, press the on, to turning off. Press the on mode and play buttons at the same time. Okay, I'm missing two buttons somewhere. Let me just look around at this side. So volume, the battery compartment, 
it looks like it's right under here. They show play button and mode button. All right, well, maybe I do have to remove this. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, so there's this button and then the button under here. So the person that had this didn't even move that. Let's see if we can carefully remove this sticker. Or they had removed it and they didn't. And they put it right back over it. I would have just removed it like this. Or they didn't care. I don't know. Let's do this. Okay. Now that makes more sense. On mode button. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Press the on mode button to power on the unit. Press the on mode button to cycle through the three gain modes. Right, but I want to do this first. For those of you who don't even have the instructions, here is a close-up so you can read. So you all realize I've gotten numerous emails from people from going to videos way back thanking me for having shown the instructions. That's why I do it. Press the on mode button to cycle through the games. Okay, this is the on mode button. The unit will give a sound and light pulse indicates the game mode. There's a game mode. There's a game mode. There's one. Game one, probably. There's two bound, two click sounds. Three click sounds. Let's go back to one. Navigate the ball to one of the two start spaces. Come on. Get out of there. So I got to get it to that end. Okay, so that's a start space. Right, start here. That's where I'm at. Navigate the ball. Okay. Oh, press the play button to start the game. Oh, so I do this. Game one. And then start. Okay. Ah. So now I'm working the ball around. I'm through this, and I don't know which way to turn. Okay, so now it's stuck in there. How do I get from that section to the purple? Aha. Maybe I can go on the outside of the... Oh, okay, so I fell off. So basically I'm being tagged. All right, so let's see about this volume, because it is kind of a loud and annoying game. Hold the button mode for two seconds. Okay, so hold the game mode for two seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Then press the on mode button to cycle through low. Okay. Oh, so it is quieter than it was. Much quieter. Okay. Okay, so I get this. Okay, so you don't want to move too fast. You don't want to move too aggressively. All right, let me do this. I'm going to reset the camera. Maybe turn down some of the lights. And then I'm going to try this again. Do not play in direct sunlight. The sun's rays interfere with detection capabilities. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I am back. Uh, I did see... Wait, where did, where's my start? There's barely any information online about this. And because I was confused, like, if the ball falls off the track, what happens? There's nothing in the instructions about, well, why not just make it fall off the track? I, I don't get it. Uh, if it falls off the track, does that mean you keep going to your next mission? All right, because I really didn't go into uh, the color changes. Each of these colors, here, I'll show you. You turn it on. We're doing game one. It, this is the color you need to get to first. So when you get to that color, here, I got the ball in the start position. It's going to say the next color. It's going to show you the next color, right? So now I have to get to blue. Well, to get to blue, I haven't really learned how to do that yet. So do you have to go all the way around? Yes, okay. So now I need to get to green again, so just go back. Okay, now I need to get to purple. Now, how do I get to purple? I probably have to go through now. There's another track here to the left. Ooh, there it is. Now I can get to the center. 
Now I'm through. Now I'm to the yellow. Ooh, maybe I can get from, yes I can, here watch. Now I'm in the purple. Now I've gotta to get to the yellow. I should be able to come through the same way I just left. Oh, it's blocked. Oh, wait. Okay, so it's, it's kind of confusing all the different ways you can go about this. Oh, see, it dropped. Now what happens? Do I have to just get it back on the track? Does that count? Is that part of the game? Okay, back to the purple. Okay. Ah, now it dropped. That doo -doo 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 is probably telling me time is running out. Ooh, I got to the purple. All right. I see how that's working now. Hold on a second. Okay, so that's back to the yellow. I don't think I'm going to get back to the yellow. I had to take a little break there. See, why wouldn't you just do that? I'm guessing when the ball falls out, the game is over. What do you think? It's not very clear. Now to blue. Now I have to switch sides to get the blue. I got to get to the middle. It's hard to see. Okay. Now, let's just let it finish out. So, six, seven, eight, seven beeps. So that's how you figure out the score. It's very confusing as well. Let's see, how to figure out the score. Before you, oh, scoring, all right. Zero points, you know, it'll give you a red light pulse and bonk sound. One or more points, ones are short, white light and sounds. So I had seven short lights and sounds. Tens are a longer white light and sound. Example, a score of 23 would be two long pulses and three short pulses. New high scores, the new high score is achieved after playing game, a high score victory sound will be played before the sound is announced. All right, so it's not very clear as to exactly what happens if the ball falls out. Hold on, I'm gonna take a quick little break here, read through this a little bit more, do a little bit more research maybe online and see, and then I will come back. Okay, I am back. There's very little on it. There's a few other videos, but they're incomplete. Not much information. Or they just didn't know, or I didn't figure that out. Now, the one thing I did find out, I didn't do test for you, is the on and off. So you can turn it on, hold on and off, you hold these two. Okay, so that automatically turns it off. Even though it seems like after uh, 30 seconds, it automatically turns off anyway. Okay, so let's ski. High score recall. Hold the play button for two seconds and the high score for the currently selected game. Oh, that's already confusing. Hold the play button for two seconds. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's, that was mine, because I think I had seven in there. All right, so we got that, so we can turn that off. So, yeah, it's a little little confusing. Like, the other start, because it shows you in the picture, the start is on the front of both ends, but the other start space is uh, hard to get to, at least what I can tell and what I've tried. So let's just try one more time. I should get a green. Okay. That's the third game. Back to the single game and start. It seems like it always starts with green. And that's the easiest one to get to. And then to get to the blue, I think I want to go back the same way I came. And then go this way now. Can I do that right? Let's see. No, that's going to take me to the center. Okay, so it just dropped again. 
So I find that extremely confusing. Because you could just drop it and go to the blue, and now you're in the blue. Now back to the green. Dropped again. And I'm not making it drop. It's just hard to know exactly which way to twist. Ooh, I think I screwed up anyway. Yeah, I have screwed up. I guess I can get back to the start. Okay, I think that's enough. I, uh, I'm struggling with this one just a little bit. There's almost no information as to what happens if the ball drops. Do you not pass it? Do you continue on? Do you not continue on? Oh, and I made the volume higher, because to do the volume again, let's turn it off. Hold the on mode button for two seconds. One, two, then press it again. Oh no, that's going through the game modes. Hold the on mode button for two seconds. Oh, turn it on. One, two, there we go. That's cycling the volume. Okay, so that's the loudest. And that's why you hear it now at its loudest level. So it is pretty loud. All right, I think we've covered it. I've shown the booklet. Let's just give it one more sweep, just to be safe. There, full page in the bright light, because I think I was out of the bright light on the last one. Oh, and at the end of this video, I'll give you a little snippet as to the left side. I'll show you some of that. But you still have to find the Easter egg and find that video. Did I mention that? Either way, thanks for watching. Later. Okay, so let's just say you're looking to your left. Now, I'm sure none of you have what you have, what I have to your left, but this is what I'm faced with. This is just some of the stuff I have not shown on video and some of the stuff that is part of a series that I never uh, officially completed. So you'll see the Easy Bake Ovens there. Those are the two that I've used the most. There's the Brownie and Cookie Bake Set on top of that, never shown on video. The Slime Sets, I've done two or three of them. There was one I did not do, so I thought, well, someday I'll finish. On that same level, there are the three Play-Doh sets. One is My Little Pony, one is a Magical Designs Palace, and then the Burger Builder, and above that's a couple games. And then, let me just show you lower, you'll see Bozo Game, a bunch of Easy Bake sets, a Find It that is uh, pretty complete without the box for Christmas. And then way down here, look at this cool stuff. There's, let's start from the left. There's some putties and mixes and Crayola stuff. And then just to the right of that in the plastic bin is a bunch of Bakugan. There must be 50 in there that I've never shown on video. And then way down there, you'll see the sweater machine. That is original in the box, vintage sweater machine. Complete, I've never used it. I thought one day, maybe I'll make myself a sweater. I don't know. And then there's a Space Center set there, a Star Wars Galaxy game, Galactic game, which I may have shown, but not officially. Bunch more games, bunch more games. So then you're looking up, you're looking up, and you're saying to yourself, all right, what can you put on this video to kind of make the video a little more fun. Oh, there we go. Look at that, to the left. There are three little M&M dispensers. Uh, I picked them up at a, I think it was an antique store. They were really cheap, or a thrift store. Maybe it was a thrift store. But on that level, you'll see the Cool Magic Maker, um, Marker Maker, I'm not sure what that one is. The Pottery Wheel. There's a, a bubble machine I've never done. There is the cords that go to my lights and system all on the top, right? There's the ice cream mixing set, the Cold Stone, which I've shown, the box. The Junior Planetarium I've shown, but never made a video. There's three or four different magic items. A Johnson & Johnson thing, thingamajiggy, and an XOXO. I don't know what that is, a cool looking toy. And then way up top, just some more sets, more games. The Wipeout game, very rare vintage game and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I'm faced with. So I'm gonna grab those three M&M containers and bring them into the video. I'm bringing the camera down because to the left of all this, down here are more bins of toys. See, that's what I'm faced with. This is probably a fifth of what I have that's not been on video. So I figure that's gotta be another 100 plus items. All right, thought I'd give you a little look to my left. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. 
Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.